Distinguished guests, fellow Armenians, my name is Shai Kanashyan, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all here at the AGBU Montreal Center on behalf of the organizers on the special occasion of the symposium on the issue of unity. I will, I will say a couple of words in Armenian for you. Arkeli Nerganet. Olorat, Zanotek, Orai Sor, Mer Gazma Gerbat, Anna Sentat, Ser Nargi de Vogucian, Vidikin Nargavi, Ein Kain Shat Pachtsali of Ajmiagan, Spurki Mias Naganucian Hartu. Make Hamos Vatin, Vormer Jo Hurti Archev Zaratat, Himnagas and Tirner I Sor, Araber Kan Yerpe. The Telatren, Mezi, Arkabes, Yeridasat, Seruti, Nergar, Tishnerus, or Parsakun Kidak Tuchiam, Yev Hans Naru Botio, Kendarging Gaisteman, Yev Hart Yerad Dudunera Arachargen, Watch me and Desaganore, I, Kohatat Stauchiam, Arkanko, Uhagi, Ludwin, Ludwin, Niasnagan, Ashkadanti. The issue of unity has been debated amongst Armenians forever. At community meetings, public gatherings, and even family reunions, Armenians always wonder why we do not work in concert or have not formed a united front in vital matters such as faith and church, politics and society, as well as culture and art. Unity is both a practical challenge and a metaphysical concept. And it is not a debate confined to Armenian society alone. <coughs> Close to home, all ethnic communities across Canada debate these issues. The Universal Church has in its turn faced the longest deliberations on this issue. And ecumenical movements have yet to produce credible results. Calls for unity in our church also have succumbed to political consideration. Since Armenia's independence, a new opportunity has opened up in our national life. Diaspora is now integrated in our homeland's development, and new calls to regulate Armenia diaspora relations are intensifying with proposals to organize further diaspora communities, create cross-community coordination bodies, and even inclusion in the proposed Armenian Senate. In Canada, we have achieved the common goals of genocide recognition at both the parliamentary and government level. Our agenda now seems to have enlarged to include the crucial matters of Armenia's development, and even democratic reform. In the past one year, discussions have been held both among individuals and organizations to create a common front. All said, unity first of all entails gaining awareness about each other and developing a sense of mutual trust, respect, and cooperation. Also, we have to recognize the value in diversity, in cultural freedom, and individualism in all sectors. We cannot limit organizations and individuals in aspiring, planning, and voicing their position on all pertinent community issues. Both have to reconcile, and one of the key challenges will be to enlarge the debate and identify common goals or issues around which common activities or coordinating bodies can be form formulated. It is within this spirit that we have organized this symposium to promote the value of openness, gain knowledge, and ensure communication. We only stand to gain from such initiatives 
where the public and our youth in particular are engaged in defining a common future platform. We firmly believe in the richness of our diversity and the strength of our collective action. Our commitment today is to advocate dialogue. Thank you. At this point, I would like to introduce and invite the MC of the day, Mrs. Khatun Temistian Bedrosia. Please, Professor, please. 